What's up, dwellers of the internet? Uh, Plat Skull here again. I just wanted to talk a little bit about and ramble on about the aesthetic of a uh, friendly NPC counterpart that happens to accompany you in the game, and that is Sigurd of Katarina. He is quite a loyal fellow, somebody who sticks around with you, somebody who is reliable. Uh, well, to a certain extent. I mean, you are constantly saving him. But he is reliable in the sense that if you do encounter him on this journey, he can be trusted to be one of the people that will show absolute loyalty and that will help you throughout any situation that presents itself. He's not somebody who has any chance of betraying you unless he were to go full hollow and, and uh, attempt to murder anybody around him, whether that be family or a close relative or uh, any sort of a maintained relationship with friends around him, but regardless, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the aesthetic of his uh, clothing, his armor, uh, so to speak. It, it, cause his character design is brilliant in the way that uh, it doesn't show who he is underneath the armor. He can only be expressed through the armor's implications about who he is as a character, and I find that extremely fascinating because you look at the armor and it, it implies uh, somebody who would be wearing it would be overweight to some extent, or rather just chubby, uh, is packing on a few extra pounds, which... Um, gives off this extreme sense of uh, comfort. It, it implies, uh, it further reinforces reliability with this character. It's somebody who you can count on, someone who is uh, uh, friendly, which can be exhibited by the weight of a person. Uh, it's been scientifically studied that those who are a little bit more overweight, or not even really overweight, just those who have um, a little bit of extra body mass are uh, known to be relied upon more because uh, naturally, instinctively, we either think of them if they are female as motherly and uh, creatures that can provide for the pack or for whoever, um, whoever they happen to be helping out in their uh, current living situation, uh, whoever they happen to be living with and residing with, uh, they can provide food, sustenance, care, or warmth in the cold uh, by snuggling them, which is a beautiful thing. It's something awesome to behold. And uh, with males, uh, the overweight nature is more to imply a strength to the character. It's, it's more to uh, solidify naturally uh, the reliability of such a person because you would associate their weighty nature with something they can throw around. They can beat up a guy because of their weight. They have a little bit more, um, they have, you know, weighted attacks. They have a little bit more of uh, mass that they can throw around at their opponent uh, or at anybody who is threatening the tribe or the the uh, legion of cubs, the the, what, the the village people, that that's a gay band, that's not what I meant. The people who come hither to associate themselves with these uh, leaders of the pack, naturally. And that's something that's very cool, and that is exhibited specifically by Sigurd. There's no other armor set that has this sort of uh, weighty nature to it. I mean, there are... Uh, armor sets that exhibit weighty natures, I shouldn't say that, they they do exhibit a power and a force behind them, but his armor specifically exhibits this caring nature, this uh, natural increase in weight that uh, would make you 
uh, instinctively associate that with someone who is caring. And I think that's, I think that's something that if is affecting people on a subconscious level that, that they might not realize is, is even happening at the time. Uh, I didn't even realize it until I thought about it uh, upon seeing the character. I knew there was something comforting about him, and uh, it can be something that's overlooked, which uh, is uh, unfortunate. But it's not overlooked uh, necessarily negatively because there are other factors that are contributing to this fact that he is a caring and friendly character that are exhibiting themselves constantly in the game. Uh, for instance, if you just take a look at the design of his armor, it, it's not only is it weighty in appearance, but besides that, uh, to get away from that aspect of it, it has this uh, curve it has this curved structure. Every single piece and plate of the armor is put together with a sort of curved structure uh, that is smooth and rounded and uh, fit into place perfectly as an armor set is, which um, soothes, soothes the completionist nature for these sets of armor. But it also has these uh, smooth features to it, which uh, imply a, a sort of sense of fluidity and uh, gives you it just furthers that sense of comfort that this isn't something jagged like a square piece of armor or something that drops off at the edges that uh, is uh, absolutely definitive like an armor set which would have uh, some kind of edge to it where it would automatically shift to another side his armor is not exactly circular but just smooth in nature from its transition from one piece of it to the next. It is flowing, meaning easy transitions from one piece of the armor to the next. The material is continuously flowing across his body uh, from the feet to the head, really. I mean, his leggings don't really exhibit that as much as his headpiece and his uh, chest or his gauntlets for that matter. No, 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 his gauntlets do. His gauntlets are smooth. They have a they have a curved texture to them, which implies, again, a smooth transition from one position to the next. It's uh, from one area of space uh, at the, the base of his phalanges to the next at the, uh, at the high point of his wrist. It is one big, long curve that ends in the base of his gauntlets uh, being really the only edge in that uh, in in the composition of his armor, uh, all all of this is centered around a not circular but smooth, uh, leaning towards a distorted spherical nature of the armor, which would imply uh, and emphasize easiness, comfortness. Uh, uh, not comfortness is that even a word? A comforting nature uh, that you can observe from it. It's pretty beautiful when uh, looking at it. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention here uh, before I cut this off, because it already feels like it's going on for a little bit too long, uh, is his uh, the nature of his voice. It is low and deep, offering that sense of security. Uh, the deep voice gives off a sense of power, a sense of control of a situation. And uh, regardless of his vulnerability that's exhibited through his actions, you can still feel this uh, comforting nature coming from him as you persist throughout the story battling demons and uh, Yorn the Giant and whatever, whatever other obstacles you happen to encounter together. You know you're in it together and you know that this person can be relied upon. You know Sigurd will be there for you, uh, and it's emphasized by this uh, low baritone voice, uh, asserting not exactly dominance, but friendliness in the most sincere uh, of a manner because of the loneness of the voice. He has nothing to hide. It's not sporadic. It's not jagged, it's not anything that's going back and forth from one tone to the next. It's a voice of a man you can trust because it is calm, it is collected, it is confident, it is hearty with him drinking his sick brew. It is uh, the voice of some 
big onion creature that is just the embodiment of uh, benevolence and care and love and he is just one awesome fucking NPC and everything about him is meant to exhibit this. Anyway, that's it for this ramble. Y'all take it easy.